What's up YouTube? Good to see you guys. Just a little impromptu vlog here in the evening sun of Vancouver. Um, so just a little update on what's going to happen, what we're going to be doing, how stuff has been going, uh, everything that's been going on because there is a big and very cool trip up ahead. I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm going to go to South Korea to Jeju Island uh, to be more exact. going to be doing commentary on Triton Poker. Um, it's going to be 10 days straight. It's going to start on the 23rd and it's going to last till the 31st of uh, July live on Twitch. You're going to find it over at try twitch.tv slash Triton Poker. Um, I will update my social media. I will host it for my channel, all that stuff. So you guys will have an easy time finding it. Um, it's a little bit of an, it's been a little bit of an odd week because the, uh, the travel time to Jeju is two days because of the time difference between Vancouver and Jeju. Uh, you know, you don't actually travel for two days, but the time difference makes it two days of travel. Then we have production meetings and preparation. I want to get to know the team, everything on Saturday and Sunday. Um, Triton is going to be awesome. The main event buy-in is $255,000. There's 200k plus short deck anti-only events. There's some smaller events as well. I mean, it's kind of hard not for it to be sm fucking smaller. With those buy-ins and we're also recording a uh, another cash game tom duan is going to be there Phil Ivy, jason kuhn paul fu uh, richard young all those guys are going to be there so it's going to be pretty epic uh for me it feels really close to my heart because uh you know i i've like some of my biggest moments or some of my uh <laughs> well actually my lo my lowest moment ever was getting bluffed with Phil Ivy. <laughs> Barry's gonna step out here and raise to 5,500 with Queen 10 offsuit. Phil Ivy suspects something. Raises Barry. We have another air Ivy hand. Ivy suspects that Barry was out of line and he's right. But it looks like Lex, who's got a decent hand, suspects that they're both out of line and he's right. Look at them, they, they look like suspects. Nice play by Lex, 51-6. How much more are you playing? I think Phil Ivey's posturing here, asking Lex how much he has. 140 something? 130, 140 more? Doesn't want Barry to know he raised him with air. Come on. In. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Phil Ivey just went all in with a five deuce offsuit. I don't believe it. I thought you were just angry at Barry. I am. <laughs> I guess, but you know, uh, after playing high stakes poker, big game, I think it's really cool because it's gonna be really cool to get that close, commentate on it. Yes, I realize, guys, that's the closest I'm ever gonna get, blah, blah, blah. Fair enough, fair enough, fair game. But it's gonna be, uh, in all seriousness, it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna enjoy myself. It's gonna be really cool to try to translate it for you guys. Uh, maybe share some of my experiences on the stage. Um, I hope you guys are gonna tune in. I think that it's uh, a really cool thing that they're doing with these uh, high roller series that are. Um, we're going to be coming last time was in Montenegro this time we're going to be in Jeju South Korea what it does mean though um, I'm going to be broadcasting for 10 days straight after we're going to be ramping up to WCOOP I made some mistakes ramping up to SCOOP and that's that I did too much work too many big projects uh, worked in jet lag so what I'm going to do there after the trip uh, I'm going to be exhausted after 10 days of broadcasting it's a much different source of energy than it is streaming um, I'm more used to streaming, of course. The broadcasting is a little bit more tiring because you have production, you have other things to think about. Um, you're also representing someone else, right? So, um, at, also on the number one wish list for me and Mirta is going to Japan. So, Japan is something very special to us. It's been number one ever since we started talking about traveling. We're going to be two hour flight away there from South Korea. So, um, 
I think that I'm doing it the right way this time. We're gonna go to Jeju. I'm gonna have a day a day. Yeah, I think one and a half days to relax with a pool there after the broadcasting is over. Then we're gonna go to Japan. We're gonna visit Osaka, Kyoto, and Tokyo. Um, and that should be amazing. We're gonna be there for like eight days, I think. After that, W Coop ramp up. We're gonna start preparing for W Coop. I'm gonna stream in August. We're gonna, you know, really ramp up studying. We're gonna get everything in order to have the best W Coop that we could possibly have and make the best of it. Um, I'm really excited for this year's W Coop. It's a little bit less intensive than Scoop is, where in Scoop you have a 2K buy in, and every time you're playing a 200, there's a 2000, you know, and every, every time you're playing a 500 medium, you're trying to satellite into a 5K. Um, W Coop is a little bit different. There's usually only one buy in, at least that's how it always was. I'm assuming it's going to be that way. Um, so that should be very interesting. I'm very excited. Uh, it's kind of like as a tournament player, I, you kind of live from coop to coop, so to say. So uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what that brings this year. Uh, w Coop last year, I was, you know, kind of scratching at the, the higher stakes a little bit, trying to satellite, playing it from Europe. This, this time we're going to go full pull. So we're pretty much going to play everything. Uh, 5k main event 100% playing rebuying if I have to I hope not you know it's very toxic to already talk about rebuying a 5k but just to, just to kind of give you an, an idea of where we're at um, some of you especially people who might uh, look at my twitch uh, might know that I've been dealing with like some major stress issues um, I've had like sleeping issues um, I've had stress attacks to where I kind of just shut down um, this is all related to signals of being very close to uh, being burned out um, I'm handling it though. I'm doing really well taking steps back where needed um, You know kind of planning things around with my team uh, making sure that I take some rest where I need to um, Just to make sure that we can keep doing this keep putting out content um, I had I had planned for this week that I would record uh, a lot of YouTube It was kind of silly because I had so much stuff to do. I also did all my administrative stuff prepared it for my uh, accountant over the last six months, so um there's going to be a small break when it comes to the old school series. Um, there's just nothing I could have done about that, really. It was just a really bad time. They wouldn't have been good. Um, it's kind of cool, too, because we changed the old school series, as you saw in the last two. We changed to only uh, showing hands without monster flops, uh, sets, all that stuff, you know. So um, I can really take in your guys' feedback. Please always give me feedback on those because we can change the series in whatever direction most of you guys want. Um, but just know that they'll be back in full force. I have tons and tons and tons and dozens of hour material waiting for that. We're also going to revisit some of the old school. We're going to go over some of the big game hands, high stakes poker hands. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking that. Um, we're definitely going to do that. Older tournaments, everything. We're going to relook everything because we can never go back and try to do something on top of it. So I got to get everything out now. It's kind of like an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Into nice word uh into my uh into my professional poker life the way it was the way it was online and the way it was live i guess too if we're gonna look at the high stakes poker and big game hands now that's all i ask is just some patience uh, there'll be some videos coming out also some of the streams but like i said i also took a step back with streaming a few days less here and there or taking a few weeks breaks sometimes i just turn my phone off for two days you know it's been it's been it's been pretty severe and something i really have to take serious because otherwise it could be out for months or even a year if I'm not careful. Uh, it's just been kind of ramping up to this fact. Just have been working six days a week, 12, 13 hours a day. Poker, streaming, studying, community management, fucking social media, everything. So YouTube, um, it's been a little bit too crazy. And uh, YouTube is one of my biggest priorities though. So don't worry, there will always be YouTube content. I'm not going to cut down on that at all. Uh, all I ask is just there's going to be a few weeks break. Um, in between the old school series and stuff. There's going to be some other stuff coming out, but please bear with me and it'll pass before you know it. And it's also maybe good because you can get excited about it. Um, I think that covers it. I think that covers it. So we have, uh, we have a pretty long trip tomorrow. Like I said, I'm very excited about the travel. There's going to be tons of fucking content um, on uh, Twitch still. We're going to, you know, do the commentary. One thing I would really like to shout out, guys, something that has been growing massively. If you do want to have a spot where you want to check um, the updates or highlight clips or whatever, check out my Instagram. Um, it has wherever the fuck they're going to put it. Probably here, right? That's the dead space. So um, my Instagram has been 
getting a lot of traction, getting a lot more followers. There's daily highlights, there's low lights, fails, highlights, big pots, massive losses, winning moments, also posting stories, um, you know, everything. So uh, definitely go to Instagram.com slash Lex if you want to keep updated during the trip, see some Japan pictures, maybe some behind the scenes poker pictures at Triton, you know, maybe do some Dura Tom Dwan spotting, anything. So I really like to stay in touch with you guys. So those are the best ways to do it. And other than that, I hope to see you in the Triton chat. And I'll be back before you know it. And then we're going to get ready for WCOOP. Good luck on the grinds. Peace out, guys. Thank you.